Humanity's return to the moon half a century in the making will have to wait a little longer. NASA is delaying its Artemis II mission with a Canadian astronaut on the crew. CTV's Vanessa Lee tells us why. The highly anticipated mission to the moon has been pushed back by almost a year to September 2025, with NASA saying crew safety is its top priority. There are concerns about the heat shield on the Orion spacecraft. They're also troubleshooting a battery issue and problems related to the capsule's air ventilation and temperature control. It's a big group work and really it's not a race. Everybody's just working together to make sure that everything is perfect, it's safe. And, you know, this delay buys us time to, you know, develop even better technology. It's the first time Canada will have an astronaut orbiting the moon. No, I'd like to strap. Jeremy Hansen of London, Ontario, is currently in deep training for Artemis II. Yeah. Calgary-born Jenny Seide Gibbons will serve as a backup. Canada has a big part. Canada's going to be building the Canada Arm 3 for the Lunar Gateway. And as an exchange, we get to have a Canadian astronaut on board Artemis II. Hansen's crew will be the first humans to visit the moon since the Apollo program five decades ago. They will test the systems required for astronauts to live in deep space. The journey is expected to last around 10 days and involves a lunar flyby, performing a figure eight maneuver around the far side of the moon Splash down. before returning to Earth. The delay also pushes back Artemis III, which will land astronauts near the lunar south pole. That's now planned for September 2026. The mission's paving the way for a long-term lunar presence and human exploration of Mars. Omar. All right, Vanessa, thanks.